Rimfire holds approximately 300 square kilometres of tenements around the township of Firefield. The tenements are shown in red. These sit within the strategic Lachlan Cadia liniment, which holds large scale gold copper mines. 50 kilometres to the south east of Firefield is the North Park's Rio Tinto mine. If we look on the right side map, we can see a close up of the tenement areas held by Rimfire around the township of Firefield. We are focusing on the gold project known as Surpresa within this location indicated by the arrow. The focus of today's video is the IP induced polarity survey done at the Surpresa Gold project. If we look at the map on the left hand side we can see an air photo of the Surpresa area and within that we have the geochemistry outline of the gold position shown in the soils. The red values represent gold values above 25 parts per billion. Across this area five lines of geophysical survey for IP were conducted with 100 meter spacings shown as each white dot point on the air photo. The trench 31 area is indicated especially down in the southwest corner. The IP survey was a pole dipole survey. This is an electrical method to measure the chargeability in millivolts per volt. Gold geochemistry on the air photo was used as a basis for citing the IP survey. The purpose of the survey is to seek chargeability anomalies that could represent mineralization at depths up to 400 meters. The survey results were then reviewed using the mathematical inversion process. These results were compared with the known gold and silver mineralization at Surpresa that was conducted in prior drilling in 2011. When these positions are compared to the IP survey, both the known geology, the structure and the gold and silver mineralized positions, we do see some very good spatial relationships that, en that encourage the company to pursue the IP study. Let us now have a quick look at the IP survey results at Surpresa. We have map A which is a plan view and map B which is an oblique view in three dimensions of the same information. Looking at map A we see an outline of the gold in soil position as shown in the yellow outlines. The chargeability IP survey values are then overlaid. We have green, blue, dark green and a brownish red. What we note immediately is the unusual curved shape of the gold in soil position at Surpresa is very well mimicked by the chargeability in the IP survey and these values increase with depth to the southeast direction. If we have a look at map B we can see in the oblique 3D view this instance better. Again we have the curved front of the geochemistry position at Surpresa and we see the chargeability anomaly of the IP survey results mimic that shape and these results in millivolt per volt get larger with depth as we travel to the southeast down dip. We have a large value in the order of 24 to 27 millivolts at a depth of approximately uh, 300 to 350 meters. This represents a major target and connection to the mineralization potentially at Surpresa. We will review this with our 3D model now. This air photo of Surpresa shows the IP survey lines and points with a backdrop of the geochemistry for gold in soil at Surpresa.
Note the curved nature of the IP results on the western margin, which mimics well the known goal position in the surface. We will now rotate the plan view to give a three-dimensional view of the IP results as they sit under the mineralized area at Surpresa. This oblique three-dimensional view of the IP survey results show the increase in chargeability with depth. This is a cross-section of the IP values as we look east. The higher values are shown in red at greater depth to about 300 to 350 metres. We will now have a look at a different cross-section looking towards the west. As we remove some of the lower chargeability values from the image, we can expose the drill hole locations for the drilling conducted in 2011. We can see that the high chargeability targets have yet to be tested. This oblique view shows the high chargeability values at depth. We can see from this that the extent of this high chargeability value is approximately uh, one to one and a half kilometers in length. Based on the IP survey results, the potential is now seen to exist for large disseminated gold mineralization to exist down dip from the known gold mineralization seen at surface already. This would be reflected indirectly in the IP results as measuring the graphite and or the metallic sulphides at depths of 150 to 350 meters. Deeper drilling will be required to test this.